Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare had a lot of pressure on it to be great. It was the first COD to have a three-year development cycle thanks to Sledgehammer Games joining the squad and needed to earn back the goodwill of the fans after Ghosts threw that down the toilet. With the introduction of advanced movement, more time to leverage 8th generation hardware, and Kevin Spacey headlining your game, maybe this was COD's chance to find its footing. Are you serious? We blindly follow anyone who will lead us, giving ourselves over to anything that provides us with a sense of purpose. Some COD campaigns are just fluff and explosions, and trust me, Advanced Warfare has plenty of that, but there are some fun explorations and food for thought in here, such as if it's okay to be a sheep and just follow instead of carving out your own identity, and some allusions to the Patriot Act. Not in the form of removing privacy, but being under the thumb of the man to prevent war. I had enlisted six months ago with my best friend, Will. It's a hard say if my favorite campaigns are one with a faceless character like Ramirez and Roach, or actualized ones like Numbers, I mean, Mason and Mason. I mean, section. With it being Troy Baker, our main man, I'll say I'm into Mitchell this game. Uh, well, the old man was a leatherneck, so I didn't really have much of a choice. A leatherneck is a U.S. Marine, so Mitchell followed even more blindly into this life than someone just going to the military because there was nothing else for him, and it's what his dad did, so it's what he does. It runs in the family. It's why he jumped at the first opportunity to get back in the fight and didn't blink at Atlas's obvious global security concerns. And I guess to make up for losing his best friend or whatever. North Korea was invading Seoul. It only took another 31 years for North Korea to finally catch up militarily to launch an attack. And who said COD games are unrealistic? <laughs> this is a little familiar, right? You know what I mean? I remember when the advanced era of COD happened, there were the inevitable comparisons to Halo, but to COD's credit, they still remained vastly different. I guess 500 years would do that. I mean, shit, this even kind of looks like a Covenant ship. And I gotta get this jab in there too. Stand by for Titanfall. Hey! See you on the other side. Remember this line. Man, New Alexandria's getting fed. Okay, I'm done. I immediately were greeted with the newest toy to this era of COD, advanced movement. I personally really loved this era of COD. My favorite multiplayer of the entire series is actually Black Ops 3 before they started introducing loot box weapons. Here though, it was a big risk that Sledgehammer took and Activision and Call of Duty as a whole, which is even more impressive as Sledgehammer has the least experience making COD games than the other two and had to really create this new system which sends ripples down every avenue of gameplay. Level design must change to accommodate and create fun angles and platforming. Time to kill has to be carefully considered as players are harder to hit. Range breakpoints as now they have to account for the Z-axis during combat. All because you can jump high and dash. With the advanced timelines comes an unlimited amount of creativity similar to what Black Ops 2 had. They could really do anything and go anywhere with weapons, vehicles, anything they wanted. And I, I gotta ask, why does everything have to evolve into crabs? And you'll notice everything about our HUD is diegetic. Yeah, it makes it a bit hard sometimes to see, but hey, that's realism, baby. In our 2054 game. ID yourselves. Atlas PMC Rescue Force. Remember this interaction. I'm really keeping you all on the hook, aren't I? Will, isn't that your dad's company? Yup. They got the best gear, the best pay. Why'd you never join? I wanted to serve my country. Not my old man. Yeah, with a track rever like Kevin Spacey, I don't blame you. Really dig in the design of Seoul. Not even an all-out battle can get in the way of its beautiful neon districts. Can't get it open because it's those weak-ass US exosuits, right? It's okay. I'll see you on the other side. Remember that line I told you, remember? Hey! See you on the other side. Heartbreaking callback. Mitchell immediately picks up the tab for Will with his inability to save him. Jumping off from custom classes in Black Ops 2's campaign, we get a cute little skill tree. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it gave me just enough incentive to start headshotting more to get some more skills. And they're powerful. That reload speed and health? I freaking loved feeling like a one-man army rushing around the battlefield. Seeing the exosuits piled like you'd see uniforms like in All Quiet on the Western Front is somehow even more eerie. Probably because they look more like skeletons and brings us one step closer to visualizing the life lost. The dead? And they've settled their debts. It's up to the living to pick up the tab. And yo, COD coming out with a banger right after the first mission. That's a great quote. Sure, we might kill a high profile leader, but we still must deal with the fallout of the conflict they incited. A close friend of ours dies and they leave this world completely in peace while we're left in pieces, tripping over ourselves trying to pick them up. The meme more famous than the game itself. This moment was half the excitement I had to the idea of playing Advanced Warfare for the first time. Yes, I know mine is E and it should be F. Get over it. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Speaking to his company's ability to mitigate loss, such as Will's, that's the most excessive business card I've ever seen. I think that's my favorite thing about games set in the future. Taking the most mundane things that don't need a text facelift and giving them one anyway. 
Like, just think of the e-waste these cars must provide. Come on! Notice Irons resides at SGH Tower, or better put, Sledgehammer Games Tower. That was a pretty sweet transition. COD fatigue had set in with me and the console transition lost me on a lot of franchises during the time. Why did no one tell me Advanced Warfare was a pretty good COD campaign? We'll do this quiet. Get that meat charge ready. I would love to have one of these anytime I read a comment about how I get the smallest of details wrong. Or when your mom walks down the hall, woo! And that really is our future, bringing the outside inside so we feel like we're outside. Isn't that funny how we bring the outside inside to feel better? Plants, pictures on the wall of nature. Pets. Oh hell yeah, I love when we're forced to fail an objective in a COD campaign. And what the f They just killed the President of the United States with no context? What is this game even smoking? You're a dead man. Reset! Oh what? This is so freaking cool. Okay, okay, you got me, Sledgehammer. Best weapon you have is the one between your legs and your ears. Oh. This is a great soldier. It's a sad day indeed when the military has no use for good men like you. With how not tore up he was about his son's death and how much he takes to Mitchell, I swear he was profiling Mitchell to be his star pupil and loved the opportunity his son dying offered him. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. They just couldn't resist, could they? Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. We don't sell policy, we sell power. We are a superpower for hire. This is super freaking cool and also super terrifying. It's just ripe for story opportunities. Probably the most interesting part of it all is that until the midpoint, Irons doesn't leverage his power for political gain right away. He plays a long Trojan horse hand. And his philosophy is actually pretty neat for a COD villain. It's somewhat a critique on the US being the world police and that he is going to spend money to end wars instead of profiting off them, which would be the assumed plot twist with someone like Irons. The specialist XO you're wearing has a built-in shield. The baby steps of adding in specialist hero type abilities in COD. I know people like to rag on COD for chasing trends or always staying the same. I don't know. I really liked this era of COD as it was introducing more mechanics and depth to the combat besides perks and attachments. After the birth of Pick 10, almost no one used grenades anymore. Having abilities to contend with spice up what after seven years has begun to run stale. Also, not to forget, it gave players with not the best aim a more competitive edge against those that do. Yes, I recognize this is a double-edged sword. <laughs> He's got the assault exam. Tell that to Alona against Hades. Gotta have our training shootout in a COD, right? My favorite training mission has still gotta be Modern Warfare 2. Probably because it was my first COD I ever played. What's yours? It's probably Modern Warfare 1, isn't it, Jackson? Pack three grenades worth into one. Just use one and waste material of the other two. But hey, it's offering us cool gameplay options, so who cares about logistics? I know why contact nades aren't in multiplayer games very often, but f the way I love them. It's like a noob tube, but no attachment slot. Sledgehammer even gave us a leaderboard to try and crack for someone to spend five hours optimizing their run. Simulation starting. Imagine the entire game is actually a simulation and is a way of torturing us because we actually failed to take down Irons and he rules the world and he's just doing this because he's a He's getting there, sir. He's ready for some real work. Good job, son. Son? See? I believe he killed his son to get to Mitchell. Shit, I would if he was Troy Baker too. The location and true identity of its leader, codenamed Hades. Hades? And he wonders why people hate him. Well, let's cook. Hades is the ruler of the underworld and god of the dead. Hades is traditionally looked upon negatively, but if you really look into the OG Greek Hades, he's all about balance, but ruling over the dead justly and... It's not perfect, okay? Hades in Advanced Warfare wants to take man away from technology and live a more human life and not have the corpo life path choosers controlling everything. Villain doing the right thing the wrong way, you know, which is kind of the way that people always look at Hades nowadays. Your mission is to link up with host nation forces under the command of Captain Ajani. I hate now that every time I hear Ajani, I immediately think of Magic the Gathering. You too, right? I'm trying not to fall in love with the toys. Still comes down to sell to the use of them. Gideon keeps the tech at arm's length. <laughs> Notice this and how he felt about Mitchell's malfunction. I had hoped Gideon wasn't truly a bad guy, and lines like these kept that hope alive. Try not to get us killed out there, are you rookie? Roger that. Hear that dejected Roger that? That's what happens when you bring Troy Baker in to act your script. Anyone else might have just done a, sir, yes, sir, Roger, but not Baker. You could hear the pain of losing Will and knows that Gideon didn't mean it like that, but can't help but feel that way. We get all this through the performance of two words. To think today we actually have cameras this small. This kind of surveillance really isn't a fantasy anymore. Does that scare anyone else or just me? How can you not like cool shit like this? I'm all for historical shooters that's grounded in our history and we can learn from it. But like, COD campaigns are made for settings like this where we can just go buck wild with the mission design. 
one. We have a traffic cam feed on a white box truck on Independence Road. <laughs> 80s guy is traveling on Independence Road. Because he's like fighting for that or something. You kidding me? <laughs> Gaming has come such a long way. Back in 81, this was a fully fledged game. Now it's just a cute little moment or a boom boom shooter. And I've always told y'all, I suck at games. Sometimes motion blur is actually a good thing. I instinctually turn it off when booting up games. But for this scene, that actually hurt it. It feels so much more underwhelming as the blur really makes the speed of the bus feel dangerous and I'm actually starting to come around on a nice light motion blur for certain games. My back! Can someone answer me why games don't use their own models and textures for characters on billboards or picture frames sometimes and opt for actual images? Where were the cameras for these dynamic action shots? You remember that fly drone, right? There you go. Huh, Sledgehammer was so proud that they had to show it again. They knew our monkey brains liked it too. Bad ass. Iron shows up cloaked in shadow with his own ominous musical cue and everything. Neat visual audio foreshadowing. And as he enters and acts like one of the boys, he opens the curtains to bathe him in this beautiful glow as if he's the savior of this planet. Wowie, wow, these cutscenes look baller. This is quite the step up from COD Ghost, that's for damn sure. These are pretty much specialists with the different XL loadouts you can get. And future games can give us lasers! You gotta admit, this is cool! Is the unlimited boost jumps and dashes a little busted for multiplayer and made the skill ceiling super high? Yeah, but at least for one game, it's fun not to have any restrictions on our movement. Sledgehammer so looked at Ghost's slide and said, Let's make it worth a damn. Nothing like sliding around a corner or one-tapping somebody with a shoddy. God, that dreaded emergency broadcast sound. That sound is an Avengers level threat. You are afraid because you have been woken from your sleep. The sleep theme coming back. And honestly, I kind of love the focus on it, especially with the way we use technology in today's landscape. Shoving iPads in front of our kids, letting TikTok and social media erase them, having every waking moment that would be downtime, like the bathroom, waiting in line, driving, even just walking down the street is filled with a screen, a swipe, or a podcast. There's never a moment of pause anymore for many of us, and for some, it has lulled us into a sleep. Complacent in their echo chambers, not having their own beliefs or their actions challenged. Just a pat on the head and view the next ad. It's seriously scary when I hear stories of someone who casually tells me, I just scrolled TikTok for three hours and then went and listened to a podcast about self-development and then we went back to another app. We gotta be careful because things are worse than ever. All this to say, was Advanced Warfare ahead of its time? Where were you the day everything changed? Me? I don't know. I was about one years old when the tower fell. A chance to start again. Who are we? You sure you wanna know? A chance to start again. Another theme besides sleeping through life is second chances. Iron says it a lot to Mitchell and it's what he tries to offer all these countries, hoping to keep them complacent and not look too closely at him while his darker work proceeds. We're the way forward. Pretty cool the logo has an arrow on it pointing forward. Four years of hunting down Hades and his right hand man turns up at our doorstep. Sounds like it was Hades plan all along to get that drive to someone inside Atlas. The introduction to the Goliath suits is ominous as hell. The framing and looming stature tells us, the player, that these guys aren't to be f***ed with. And when you face them finally, they are not! The power fantasy of the Exos is what it's all about. Being able to push a whole ass car on its side, kicking a door into the other side of the hall, it really makes you feel like bad, I mean a super soldier. I'd like to know who's watching my back, mate. <clears throat> That's classified, mate. Remember the scene I told you remember? We're getting the inverse of that with Gideon on our side now. Would you call these... city mobiles? You know... Snowmobile. That one mission from Modern Warfare 2, okay? I, I f quit. I think you are whatever I tell you to be. That's mommy. Once she got under your skin. Please, Pierre, work with me. This is why women say men are so easy. <laughs> it would be an act of war without congressional approval. Atlas is an internationally registered private company. We don't need Congress. On whose authority? On my authority! This is when I was truly on board with Advanced Warfare. A military that can act with impunity, not worried about the rules of engagement like Modern Warfare 2 tried to be mired in. Ooh, low shutter speed to show that iron is that bitch. Using a pillow to make your already silent weapon even quieter, because that's exactly how that works, right? Oh, it was to make him squeal quieter, because that matters in these games. Yes, yes, I understand. This drone mission is pretty neat and kind of OP. Why don't they just make it like a million of these and call it a day? Negative. It's not Hades. Not Hades. We all kind of saw it coming that we weren't going to kill our big bad that easily, right? But this fake out sets us up to not think that he will die right at the end of this mission. Cool. Not often does a COD game actually utilize suppressive fire. In Vietnam, it was reported that a US soldier would expend 50,000 rounds before one EKIA. My KD is like 2.3, way better than that. I want whatever he's using. It's basically a railgun. 
meet Overkill with Overkill. Remember when I was talking about Hades being a badass? He's able to take on Alona with her Exo on. He's probably pulled a Craven and studied hard on how to combat them in close quarters. <laughs> Neat. And oh! We just killed the main villain not even two hours into the game. What? Irons. No. So Irons is the bad guy after all. Advanced Warfare is more a two-act game, which I find pretty neat. You could argue where the third act starts after the Golden Gate Bridge mission, but it's more of working for Atlas, Irons exposed as the midpoint, and then taking him down as act two. It's different, I think it's neat. I should watch the news more. Thank you, Wendy, but the real heroes of the day are the men and women of Atlas. You guys, you are the real heroes. Two years ago, you couldn't step outside without getting shot. Hard to argue with the results, but of course ethics and morality must come on for progress. It's probably going to be a battle we're fighting forever. How much of our rights, privacy, and autonomy are we willing to give up for security and stability? They wanted me to compromise the security systems. Where are they planning on hitting? <laughs> At first, it sounds like concern. After the reveal and hearing it again, you could tell he's more excited about this opportunity. A good plot twist should recontextualize things. Interesting that Gideon doesn't have a gun on him. It's like Irons knew he wouldn't do anything. It makes us think that Gideon was in on it the whole time. Really makes us not trust him. He said it was a fake. And honestly, even today in 2023, you can't trust a single thing you see anymore with how sophisticated AI has become. I don't blame Gideon for believing Irons. <laughs> Alona is a badass. I love her. Finally, we fight a Goliath. And yeah, do they make you feel like David? They're bullet sponges, sure, but it doesn't feel awful like some other video games do. They're meant to be tough as nails. If a game has a grapple, it's an automatic win for me. Remember your old sergeant, don't you? Yo, I love Cormac. Like, he's only here for half the game, really, and I felt more for him than I ever did Gideon. Sledgehammer knew they had something with Russell Richardson, so they just had to have him be the one to die. I was wrong, what's your status? Roof is clear. He's still our boy. We were formed four years ago. Huh. Right after the nuclear massacre and Hades' death. Everyone gets a little suspicious when a mass murderer dies, I suppose. A US-led multinational unit. Codename, Sentinel. A Sentinel is a soldier or guard posted to keep watch. I'd say they picked their name pretty good to watch Irons. We realized too late. He was surrounding us. This was the long game that I was talking about Irons playing. I'm sure we've all seen an attack on US soil from any superpower in real life is virtually impossible, but control the whole world and make them love you? Suddenly you've got every resource you could need to take on what you perceive to be the biggest enemy to your cause. And hey, the US has always been under scrutiny for war profiteering, which actually makes this to me one of the more interesting COD plots versus bad Russian or another blank faced terror group. One word keeps getting flagged. Manticore. A manticore is a Persian creature of legend that has made its way into Greek texts, which keeps us in the Greek myth realm like with Hades. The name manticore means man-eater, and that is exactly what Irons plans to use it for. It's cute that this world-dominating figure names his virus aptly instead of being like X4269D9. We'll be up against our old teammates, people we trained with. With. Mentioning it is better than pretending the issue never existed. I like to twist on the COD classic stealth mission. We don't just stick to a dude's ass and do as we're told. We're trusted with finding our own route through and actually do have detection meters now so we know what we can and can't get away with. And that's pretty awesome, so. Tango to the left. session. sets us up right here. Thinking we could just skirt by everyone with no problem. I don't like how much fun this seems to be. Keeping in line with our Greek fun, this plane is named Pandora, hearkening to Pandora's box, whose contents have opened would release humanity's evils upon them. Irons has got everything twisted and wants to release his own evils upon mankind as punishment, believing it is his duty and that they brought it upon themselves. Irons is somewhat like Hephaestus, whom created Pandora and her box, and is the smithing god. Irons. Notice the name? Created all of Atlas and its tech, and now it's being used to subjugate the world. And that brings us to Atlas, the titan in Greek myth who was condemned to hold up the entire world on his shoulders. Irons also believes himself this titan, burdened with the responsibility to carry this world. He says he's not a monster over and over again because he believes himself a god. Bane would be so hard right now if he saw this. What I love a lot about Advanced Warfare is that every main character is directly modeled off their actors. I know it's done all the time, but still makes me happy. We are one giant walker away from identity theft. Oh, there we are. Close enough. <laughs> It's not ropes around the legs, but I'll take it. Dope! As for the level design in COD games, this is one of the prettiest, and you know we gotta have a snow level. This is Atlas Zero One. Whereas Michael's a KIA. What? What a G! See what I did there? You could have escaped from New Baghdad with us. We'd all be none the wiser. Can you learn a thing from Irons? Trojan horse long game, baby. If your DNA signature isn't in the Atlas database, you're dead. 
a throwaway line that becomes pretty important later on. By the time we put the pieces, Gideon has the location. How are you gonna get Troy Baker and not even let him talk during gameplay? That's just criminal. Every scene, if you watch Mitchell, he seems racked with guilt and especially here, uncertainty. I'm only really highlighting him because, come on, let me simp. And also, everyone kills it, but gets way more screen time. We know they're good. One for you, we'd still be stumbling around in the dark. One could say, blind, asleep. <laughs> Move slowly, hostiles. Don't let them hear you. Remember me praising having stealth mission with freedom? Well, I think COD contractually must have three things for it to exist. A snow level, turret sections, and a stealth fall, a cool accent guy mission. Though this future tech is crazy, it all still seems plausible. My stupid monkey brain is coming up with the reasons how a mute charge could work. Think about how active noise canceling works and then figure out a way to make it a field instead of having to pass through headphones first. Don't know how the f you do it, but it sounds possible. And the cloaking just looks like the classic mirrors type thing that we've seen a hundred times. Had to drop a few of their guys. It's gonna go right when they discover the bodies. Mission isn't over yet. Kid, our mission was over before it began. Ooh, the two leaders butting heads on who's in charge. Love inner company drama. We got a guy named Knox on our team while we infiltrate a fort. You know, I thought those trees looked weird. It's just a giant blind for their encampment. That's cool. Remember what I said about turret sections? If only they set this mission in snow, they would have had a grand slam of a cop mission. And having the trophy system be our health bar is quite creative. We're only as untouchable as our system has ammo left. Hold on. Should have scrapped it. One step ahead of you, mate. That's why Gideon is the G. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. Never mind. Irons just took Gideon's G status. Staring the UN in the face and being like, yeah, I've got a racist WMD. What you gonna do about it? To his credit, he doesn't seem to use it to target a specific ethnic group. His net is way larger than that. So he's better by being worse? <laughs> I don't know. This one is totally gonna be taken the wrong way. And I believe the world's problems begin with you. Well, hey, that's only the UN you're talking about. I'm sure there are one or two countries that are ecstatic about this declaration, Irons. You think your touchscreen computer console is awful? Imagine having less than that with holograms. All this to say that physical buttons win the sauce every day over touchscreens and cars. Sledgehammer really captured the scale of the Golden Gate Bridge. Shit is so massive, I swear I saw Caesar about to pounce on me. <laughs> two S H G six one one. It's Sledgehammer Games' second game, hence the two, but I couldn't figure out what the 611 means. Let me know down below the like button if you do. The Golden Gate Bridge being blown up is exactly what we play these games for. Not freaking reused DMZ Warzone retreading old stories bullshit. <laughs> the guy Mitchell saving his cat. Look at Cormat's bloodshot eyes from staring at the screens from a lack of sleep, having to witness the horrors of irons. Poor dude's just stoned. Cormax kinda sexy? I like the future night vision is orange just because it has to be different from ours. Um, actually, before you comment, I know that just within the last few years, we've developed a uh, night vision that looks similar to this. All enemy ships accounted for and destroyed. Good work, team. Copy that, Kingpin. Do you think he wears a white suit while he's giving his call outs or a Hawaiian shirt? If you know, you know. Next, we hunt him down. And we bury him. I know it's a figure of speech, but I'm gonna believe Cormac is such a stand-up dude, he'd give Irons the honor. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. May I please be excused? The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick. Quote Theodore Roosevelt and people automatically think you know what you're talking about. I just doesn't even follow the entire quote here. To him, it's like, talk shit, go hit. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. Not a terrible goal, though. Eh? Eh? This straight up feels like a Star Fox mission. Just holding the boost and fire the whole time while dodging everything. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke. Do a barrel roll! This is probably the most fun mission as it's the most non-linear. And that's saying a lot about the other missions as this one breaks new ground by letting you decide which order to take out the AA guns. Did you have to make the drones come out of that dude's crotch? Cause like, gross. Why aren't we affected? Irons engineered it to be harmless to his own troops. With the previous setup and Irons going full sicko mode, this oversight doesn't feel contrived. It was never something I welcomed, but with it comes serenity, a clarity that you'd never expect. Truly. Facing death is the easiest way to appreciate your life. 
I sound like Jigsaw. Cut! Medical advancement, something like that. Doesn't matter. It's a prison now. I think I got another word for it. Hold the wind, Sean. Let's try and tournament him. Actually, no, it's worse than that. You know what I'm talking about. And so does this guard that doesn't let me look for too long. Thanks for saving the monetization of this video, Atlas. You're not young, but you are strong, Cormac. So I give you 20 minutes to bleed out. Compliments? I like how the lighting makes Iron's eyes look red like the devil's. You're nothing like Will. So he was trying to replace his dead son. Here. With only one wing, you won't be reloading. So make every shot come and pick up new kit when you're empty. That's a really cool gimmick for this mission. I totally missed what he said the first time. I was so confused for a second. And then it hit me. I was like, no, 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 no. I hate the Toy Story 3 ending. I dig that the visor becomes see-through and gives us our new HUD. Now this is pod ra I mean power fantasy. Cool, Mike. He's in the back. I'll help him. Just drive. Aw, um, she knows he's dead anyway, but doesn't want to waste any time getting out of there. And so she doesn't tell us the condition of him. Come on. <laughs> Cormac! <gasps> I love the rack focus to his hand watching it drop. It's just a little cuter than watching his eyes lose life. These suits are just so much fun to use. Finally feeling invincible and having the swarm rockets take out like eight dudes. For a final mission, this is all I could want from a COD campaign. That's just satisfying, okay? But I won't. I'm not a monster. Out of no spacey, the 12 charges. Sorry, nine because of a technicality might beg to differ. And like Hades said, you gotta cut out the cancer to survive. And once again, Mitchell pays that tab for Will by taking off his arm. I've got you, mate. Hey, G's alive. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. Like what I said about this problem being one that we will constantly face. It's like Templars versus Assassins, baby. Got a nice sweet one here for you. Seeing as Modern Warfare 3 was an absolute dumpster fire disappointment, I decided to go back and finish up with the rest of the COD series. Get subscribed to get Vanguard and Infinite Warfare coming soon. I actually really enjoyed Advanced Warfare. Not that I ever got a lot of hate like ghosts, but it's just kind of mid. But what it did bring us was the start of the advanced movement era. The biggest jump in risk COD has ever taken with the series up to this point. With the two games preceding actually taking a couple risks. Advanced Warfare with the movement, Black Ops 3's story for all its faults, and Infinite Warfare actually providing a good story and what is a refinement of the movement era? Though it was too late for that game sadly, why does my voice keep getting higher? Should we give Infinite Warfare another chance? Oh! But aside from the loot crate pay to win bullshit, I remember the multiplayer being quite solid and played the heck out of Exo Zombies winning for Black Ops 3. The campaign here though is... Surprisingly good. I really like Irons as an antagonist, and if they just let Troy Baker cook a little more, they could have had something really special with Mitchell, just on the merits of Troy carrying the role. The mystery design did leave a bit to be desired, and I think they were a bit too many driving sections, but hey. Sledgehammer, the fledgling studio they were at the time, put out a COD game that can hang up there with the big boys. So I'm satisfied and actually had a blast writing this script. I don't know what it was about Advanced War, but this script was a blast to write. What did you think about Advanced Warfare? Did you skip it waiting for Black Ops 3 or use your mommy's credit card to buy loot boxes to get that Bal Obsidian Steed? Let me know down below that subscribe button and remember, drive the speed limit, drink some water, and love one another. Pizza!